when i joined akio job their mentors uh, their uh, course structure and the assignments provided me uh, the assignments which are provided in the course so which helped me uh, become good at those skills so i need i no need to face any kind of this because uh, mm. everything was available within that platform which helped me to crack a good company with a good package <laughs> Hi guys welcome back to our YouTube channel we are back with another testimonial today we have Kartik with us who is an actor job alumni he recently got placed in Omni Card as a back end engineer at an LPA of 10 uh, so today we talk to him and try to understand how his entire journey was because he did his graduation in electronics and communication and uh, he chose to pursue coding as his career right so we'll try and uh, understand what was the reason behind uh, pursuing coding for him and how was his entire journey with uh, akio job so do make sure that you watch this video till the end but before moving forward take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos uh, now without wasting any more time let's jump into the session uh, thank you kartik uh, for taking out time to do this with us can you quickly introduce yourself for our viewers uh, i am durgam kartik i am from uh, kumrambam district of telangana state <clears throat> hyderabad uh, coming to my education i completed my btech in ec from nid trichy tamil nadu <clears throat> and also i am a deputy manager of my department symposium <clears throat> and yeah that's it that's about my uh, education okay uh, so kartik you have cracked such a good package you're right and this is your first company itself you yeah, did your graduation yes. in ec and after Continue. that you gave up a break of your of a year right and yeah. then you have find mm. crack this company so tell us a little bit yeah. about your college life because obviously when you pursued ece as your graduation degree you had you mm. might have had different plans but then you are now having a career in coding so tell us a little bit about that what was life like in college and what made you uh, choose akio job or maybe you know coding as a career path <clears throat> yeah okay <clears throat> so uh, my department was electronics and communication so regarding the btech like was everything was uh, fine mm -hmm. but always like during my btech days like i used to work on some software projects related so from mm -hmm. that i have come to know that like i am much more uh, interested in a uh, software compared to my uh, mm -hmm. core field so that is mm -hmm. the time i realized that i should go into a software field so mm -hmm. so in final year there was a placements so what i don't know at the end i got into a core company which was not interested but in my rule in my college there were rules like if you get an offer you should accept it you should not reject it so that is the reason i have to accept the offer so mm -hmm. then after that i was trying off campus but i am not able to crack it i am not able to find the <clears throat> which i was looking for so mm -hmm. then what happened Mm, my bd was completed so the joining date of my uh, core company was near so i resigned it i rejected it so then mm. after that i was trying off campus but i am not able to get it the, uh, the right opportunity so mm. then what happened then there was a recession so it's difficult to find jobs in off campus so at that time i was uh, surfing daily through the linkedin so that is the time uh, where i come to know about the akio job so that is the time so then i gone through the their uh, site like saw <clears throat> their curriculum courses like the recent uh, uh, about placements and all things so that is the time i joined akio job as a java trainee so hmm. this uh, curriculum their course structure uh, help me like get like help me to train my skills uh, in a uh, spring boot java data structures and algorithms computer science fundamentals so and also Uh, and also it contains like one on one uh, sessions a uh, mock interviews uh, the assignments on weekends they used to conduct <coughs> uh, assignments okay. and do and all those things are uh, helping me uh, become stronger at those skills and also become uh, uh, like ready to crack any kind of uh, uh, company so <coughs> yeah um, then yeah so it also had a good uh, companies like yeah like their sessions and all those things helped me uh, crack this uh, omni card hmm. okay so uh, kartik if i'm not wrong you joined akio job in the month of uh, june right that december 22 no no december 22 yes. ha huh. acha december yeah. you do right so it's been like uh -huh. almost two years for you here now right yeah. so you have 
consistently studying with us and now that you have cracked yes. a really good package so can you tell me like how the journey has been when you just started learning coding when you joined as a newbie and now you are working at such a good package it's been a week for you that you have joined this company and you are also very proficient right and you are working as a backend developer right so you must have learned uh-huh. a lot of things so tell us a little yeah. bit about the entire thing ki how if you like you know compare yourself uh, with the old you right who just started uh-huh. learning coding what are what are the changes okay. that you see in yourself <clears throat> okay uh previously like before joining akio job like i have a, a basic knowledge not to the advanced level of knowledge so but when i joined akio job their course structure uh, those uh, mentors like when i joined this so i was uh, so i was a uh, good at those uh, data structures uh, java language and all those skills <clears throat> hmm. yeah so their mentors uh, their uh, course structure and the assignments provided me Uh, the assignment which are provided in the course like, so which helped me uh, become good at those skills hmm. yeah okay so uh, kartik like uh, you graduated in the year 2022 right and it's yeah. been more than a year that you took a break yes. and then you were just studying uh-huh. you were not working anywhere right so yes. you must have felt a lot of demotivation also sometimes right that uh, you have been applying off campus as well but you're not able to crack but you were very sure in your skills that you will be able to some hmm. some day right so can you tell me like what was uh, the strategy behind the mindset that you you know developed during this time and how does someone if you know someone like you who is coming from a similar background he is also in a similar situation he wants to become a coder but then he is not able to land a good job and it's been a long time so how does one develop the same kind of mindset that you developed to just stay consistent at his practice and continue practicing coding okay <clears throat> yeah when it comes to uh, these kind of things like everyone has a different strategy a different plans like uh, some people might get earlier some might get late so it depends on each person so we should not compare a uh, one with the other but uh, when it mm-hmm. comes to skills always be in consistent learning uh, mm-hmm. skills uh, so be patient when it comes to placements because same mm-hmm. with my case like i used to get rejected in the always last round but i uh, should not lose hope be consistent mm-hmm. in your study uh, be patient yeah mm-hmm. so there will be a one day so which will come you get placed so hmm. yeah so always be consistent in uh, skills don't get uh, demotivated yeah that's i can hmm. suggest from my Understood. experience yeah understood kati so one uh, just random off topic question that i would like to ask uh, this yeah. company that you have gotten placed in is uh, based in noida right and you are originally from hyderabad so what all yeah. uh, cultural differences are you feeling are you able to like cope up with them or have you been able to make friends you can just tell the experience so far of working in this company yeah okay uh, since uh, my mother tongue is marathi so all of the guys here were like they are speaking uh, hindi so i am able to uh, manage uh, said overall when it comes to company since uh, it is a startup company uh, so uh, as of now like all of, all of they were uh, friendly yeah hmm. the company's culture is uh, good yeah okay Cool, Karthik. So let's now play a small rapid fire round, right? You can just yeah. tell me whatever comes to your mind first, and okay. uh, yeah. Huh. So first uh, question would be, uh, which is your favorite coding language? Uh, as of now, it's a Java. Java. Okay. And hmm. are you someone who likes to study early in the morning, or are you someone who burns the midnight oil? Ah, <laughs> it's a midnight. Okay, great. And if you had to describe your entire coding journey with Akio Job in just one word, what would that be? Hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, and wow. any piece of advice you would like to give to those who are coming from a similar background as yours and want to learn coding? No. <clears throat> Uh, advice like in my case uh, joining akio job was a, a good decision that i made because like when it comes to placements or a, a training or myself see managing ourself it is a very difficult so hmm. so i might choose so i might suggest like my perspective uh, joining akio job was a good decision for me so it might be a uh, good for someone to yeah hmm. so qk like uh, managing everything uh, single it is a uh, very difficult to get placed training and everything see when it comes hmm. to self we are not ever like a uh, what to study so what is the hmm. flow we should follow so it is a uh, better so in my case 
so i need i no need to face any kind of risk because uh, mm. everything was available within that platform which helped me to crack a good company with a good package yeah okay that's great to know kartik uh, we are glad that you had such a amazing journey with akio job and we hope yeah. uh, that you know people like you who are uh, motivated to learn coding but somehow are hesitant uh, surely get inspired from your video and get started with their coding journey as well and yeah we wish you all the best for your future ahead and thank you so much again for taking out time yeah okay thanks man That is it for today's video guys. I hope you all found it extremely insightful. If you guys have any suggestions on what kind of questions you want us to cover in our next testimonial, do let us know in the comment section below. And if you guys are also interested in learning coding or making a career in tech, then just visit the link provided in the description below. Uh the link will take you to an aptitude test which will help you in identifying which course is best for you, be it full stack or data analytics. Both the courses have amazing instructors from top IT companies who will be there to guide you throughout your journey. So do make sure that you check out the link provided in the description box below. And if you guys are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos. Uh and thank you so much for watching this video. We will see you in the next one.